there are better ways to keep cool. Call KS Services and receive a new Bryant unit with no payments and no interest for 18 months. Stay cool now and pay later. Visit callks.com for more. It's the Weather Extreme video for Saturday, September 12, 2020. I'm Scott Martin. The tropics are taking center stage as we have a depression moving across the Florida Peninsula at the moment that potentially could become Tropical Storm Sally later today after moving into the Gulf of Mexico. What will the impacts be to the Alabama Gulf Coast and to central Alabama? We'll get to that in just a moment. Satellite as of 525 this morning shows mainly clear skies across all of Alabama with the exception of a few clouds dotting the west and northwestern parts of the state. Radar shows some spotty shower activity over the extreme northwestern parts of the state, but all of central Alabama is dry for the moment. Temperatures as of the 5 a.m. official roundup were in the lower to mid-70s across central Alabama. Anniston, Birmingham, Montgomery, and Troy were all tied as the warm spots at 75 degrees. Pell City and Talladega were the cool spots at 72 degrees. No watches, warnings, or advisories are currently in effect for central Alabama, but we do see a flash flood watch up for much of the Florida Peninsula, along with a tropical storm watch for nearly all of the Florida Gulf Coast. That is a heat advisory that is in effect for the southwestern parts of Louisiana. Now speaking of the tropics, it is a busy time as we have a total of six systems being watched at the moment. An area of showers and thunderstorms may develop a little more as it moves westward and southwestward over the Gulf of Mexico through the middle of the week, but is only given a small chance of developing into a depression within the next five days. Another disturbance is located just off the coast of Africa that may possibly become a depression during the next few days, but conditions will become unfavorable for any further development by Tuesday. We also have Invest 95L over the east central parts of the tropical Atlantic Ocean that will likely become a depression over the next couple of days. It is projected to move generally westward for at least the next five days. Most of the ensemble members have it curving to the northwest well before reaching the Leeward Islands. We also have Renee out there in the middle of the Atlantic struggling to stay at tropical storm strength. Winds are currently at 40 miles per hour and is expected to weaken into a depression by early Monday morning. We'll have to watch and see what happens after the next five days, but for now, he stays out to sea bothering the fishes. Tropical Storm Paulette is on a path towards Bermuda, currently packing winds at 70 miles per hour and moving to the northwest at 16 miles per hour. Additional strengthening is very likely and Paulette should become a hurricane later today. The center of Paulette is expected to move very close to Bermuda on Sunday night and Monday. Fortunately, Paulette will be out of there rather quickly and moving back out to sea late on Monday, only expected to drop two to four inches of rain on the island. Paulette is forecast to be a Category 2 hurricane with 100 mile per hour maximum sustained winds as it passes over Bermuda. Then we get to the big story, Tropical Depression 19. Currently, maximum sustained winds are at 35 miles per hour as the center is located just 35 miles to the west-southwest of Miami, Florida. 19 is expected to move out over the Gulf of Mexico later today and will gradually start to intensify into a tropical storm, gaining the name Sally. Current forecast track has 19 moving to the west-northwest, passing very close to the Alabama Gulf Coast before making landfall very near the Louisiana-Mississippi state line. Tropical storm watches are up for portions of the western Florida Gulf Coast and tropical storm conditions are likely by Sunday night in the watch locations. Rainfall totals of 2 to 4 inches with isolated spots reaching 6 inches are expected across the central Gulf Coast from Sunday through Tuesday morning. Rough surf and dangerous rip currents can be expected as well. 19 may also be a major factor in central Alabama's weather and we'll get to that in just a second. Now let's dive into the forecast for central Alabama as we start off with the 06Z run of the GFS valid today at 4 p.m. Deeper moisture and an easterly wave will be located just to our west near the Mississippi River, but with that in close proximity to central Alabama, scattered to numerous showers and thunderstorms will be likely, mainly during the afternoon and evening hours. Showers and storms will also be possible during the morning as well, but chances will increase with the rising temperatures. Highs will be in the lower 90s. 
At this point, we could see a lessening in our chance for showers and storms on Sunday with the approach of Tropical Depression 19, but rain chances will remain elevated across the area, mainly for the afternoon and evening hours. Highs will be in the lower 90s. Tropical moisture will begin moving into central Alabama from the south, along with the outer rain bands of Tropical Depression 19 on Monday. Showers and storms will be likely mainly over the southern half of the area through much of the day, but those will eventually move northward. Highs will be in the mid to upper 80s. As Tropical Depression 19 makes landfall on the Louisiana and Mississippi Gulf Coast on Tuesday, we'll continue to have tropical showers and storms across central Alabama. We may have to watch for some stronger cells within those outer bands that may start to rotate and potentially drop a quick spin-up tornado or two. But it is too early to be certain on that for now. Highs will be in the lower to mid 80s. On Wednesday, the remnants of TD-19 will be pulled eastward across central Alabama, bringing a greater potential for tropical showers and storms. Once again, it looks like we may have to watch closely for any rotating cells throughout the day. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. The remnants of TD-19 will finally be making their way into Georgia on Thursday, but tropical showers and storms will remain likely throughout the day across central Alabama. If any severe weather occurs, it looks to be confined to the eastern parts of the area throughout the day. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the lower 80s. While showers and thunderstorms will remain possible on Friday, much of the tropical moisture will be out of the area, leaving us with our standard chances for the afternoon and evening hours. Highs will be in the upper 70s to the mid 80s. Whew! That will wrap it up for today's Weather Extreme video. We'll have notes on the blog throughout the day. Bill Murray will have the next video out on Sunday morning. I'm Scott Martin signing off for today. Have a great day and God bless. Never wait for hot water again with a tankless water heater from Plumbing Experts. Tankless water heaters are easy, convenient, and now more affordable with a no-interest financing for up to 18 months. Stop with the cold showers and wasted water and call Plumbing Experts today.